watching this morning, we want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. We're so thankful for the way that you love your kids, that you want to disciple them to be more like Jesus. So mm -hmm. if you're watching right now, you can pause. Well, you don't have to like oh. pause us. Oh, okay. But we're going to give you a second to just wish your mom happy Mother's Day. Ready? We can say it together. Three, two, one. Happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day! Day! Turn to your mom and tell her, happy Mother's Day! Good job! Amazing. <laughs> Make sure that you tell her about why you're so thankful her, for her this morning and why you love her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I thought today we could start off with a game. Ooh, I love games. 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 That's awesome. Okay. Do I get to play? Yeah, you okay. get to play. <laughs> and you guys get to play too. Okay, so okay. we are going to play Simon Says. Ooh! Okay. Yeah. You guys ready? I'm really excited. You guys ready? Okay. So you can stand up on your feet as well. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your shoulders. Simon says, touch your eyebrows. Touch your hair. Oh, good job. Um, Simon says, do a twirl. Simon says, bend down. Simon says, reach up. Simon says, put your hand over your mouth like you're shushing. Touch your ears. No, you didn't. I got say you. Simon says no. I got you. No, 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 no. Can I have a do over? No, there's no do overs. You made the choice to touch your ears. <laughs> but, 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 aren't we learning about do overs today? I mean, I guess. Okay, I guess that's a good point. <laughs> we are talking about a man named Jonah in the Bible today. Ooh. And Jonah explicitly heard from God to do something kind of the exact opposite. Kind of like what you just did. That's me. Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> and following God's way always takes listening what, to what we've heard God say and putting it into practice. But sometimes we can be tempted to do it the other way. It's true. So we're going to jump into our story today, and we'll see you guys after. See ya. God, you are the best. You don't make mistakes. Yeah, you don't make mistakes. And when things are a mess, you always know.
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Can I see? Can I see? Can I see? Yep. I can see from all the way up here. Oh, hi there, I'm Manny. My neighbors down the street moved away and they're letting us have their trampoline. It is so exciting. The trampoline is so bouncy, I can jump way high, like a grasshopper. Dad and Uncle Sanjay are moving the trampoline right now. I can't wait until it's in our backyard. I'm going to invite all of my friends over to jump with me. Except, Mom says that only one person can jump at a time. But I want all of my friends to be on the trampoline at the same time. I want it my way, but Mom's way is with just one person. Ho! Ho! Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Ho, ho, jumping all around, are you? Hi, Ollie, I sure am. I'm really excited to have my friends over to jump on my trampoline. But mom says that only one person can jump at a time. Following rules can be hard, it's true. But obeying them can be good for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oh, I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello, hello. I am Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see my latest creation? Ta da! <laughs> These are my fishtail cupcakes. Aren't these little fish so cute? <laughs> they remind me of today's story. It's a big fish tail. Are you ready? If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Jonah. Everyone say, hi Jonah, hi Jonah. <laughs> One day, God told Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh. Whoa, whoa, Jonah, wait, you're going the wrong way. He doesn't wanna go. Can you help me call him? Jonah, Jonah, there he is. <laughs> Now God told Jonah to go to Nineveh and tell the people to go God's way. But as you can see, Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh. Jonah thought he had a better idea. He wanted to go sail on a boat far, far away from Nineveh. Now, can you guys tell Jonah what he should do? Should he go Jonah's way or jump, jump and go God's way? <laughs> yes! He should jump, jump, and go God's way. Say it with me. Jump, jump, go God's way. Jump, jump, go God's way. <laughs> oh no, he's not going God's way. He's sailing away. Oh, Jonah, God's way is always perfect. I wish you would trust him. But Jonah wanted to do things his way. While Jonah was on the boat, a big storm came up. It's wind. Can you guys rub your hands together like this? And then rain. Can you guys pat your legs? It rained more and more, harder and harder. Jonah knew God sent the storm for him. So in order to save the other people on the boat, he threw himself into the water. The storm stopped. Then God sent a giant fish to swallow Jonah. There, Jonah was inside the big belly of the big fish. Everyone say, hi Jonah. 
Hi, Jonah. Now, do you think you should have gone God's way, Jonah? <laughs> Sometimes we think we have a better way, but God's way is perfect and we can always trust him. Jonah prayed and told God he was very sorry he did not go God's way. Then he praised God and knew that God's way is perfect. When Jonah was finished praying, God made the giant fish spit Jonah out onto dry land. Welcome back, Jonah. Are you ready to jump, jump and go God's way? <laughs> Good job. So Jonah went to Nineveh and guess what? The people decided to go God's way because God's way is perfect. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> So there's your story, and it's all true. Jonah learned to go God's way, and so can you. Ho, ho. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, what a story. When Jonah was inside the big fish, he finally decided to go God's way. And we can go God's way too because God's way is perfect. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say, got it, get it? Got it! Good! I need to obey my mom about only one person jumping on a trampoline. That's the best way, so no one gets hurt. I'm gonna jump now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! playing Simon Says, mm -hmm. I was thinking that like, I had a zero tolerance for do-overs, but do-overs actually might be really helpful because when we're learning to follow God's way, sometimes we don't get it right the first time. Mm -hmm. Jonah made a mistake and he disobeyed God, but at the end, he did turn it around and he chose to follow God anyway. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes in games, we don't get do-overs, and that's okay. But thankfully, God gives us chances in life, and he has grace for us yeah. in life. And that is so much more important than a do-over in Simon Says. It's very true. And so we can learn from Jonah's mistake, and we can start to follow God the first time he asks us to follow him. So today, we're going to pray that we would learn from Jonah's mistakes and that we would learn from our own mistakes as well as we learn that like when we're disobedient to God, we can constantly change our mind and change our direction to make sure that we're following him. Yes. Okay. Let's pray. Jesus, we love you. And we're so thankful that you are a God that has so much grace for us when we make mistakes. Would you help us not to follow in Jonah's footsteps? Would we be obedient to what you ask us to do and to following you the first time you tell us to do something? Mm -hmm. But God, if we don't and we make a mistake, would we be quick to realize it and quick to change our direction? God, we love you and we pray these things because we love you and we want to follow you. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, we will see you next week. See ya. Bye.